Hey guys, this is Sanvid and I'm back with another video and today is all about your smartphone and productivity. So I'm going to tell you all about how you can convert your phone into a productivity machine rather than a time wasting brick that your parents call your phone as. Now let's start with your home screen. As you can see in this case, all these icons just cluttered on my screen. If you want to search for an app here, you would probably get distracted and open up your Instagram or your Snapchat or your social media. So what I personally recommend and do is I delete all the apps that I don't need. This would not make your mind distracted to other apps and also make you feel motivated towards the things that you are doing. Now you don't want your phone to control you and you don't want it to tell you when to pick it up. So to have control over your phone, I recommend closing all notifications. Now on an iPhone, this is very simple. Just go to your settings, scroll down to notifications and for each app, close your notifications. Now, as you can see, we are on our home screen. Now this screen is really important because this is the first thing that you see after you unlock your phone. Now what I recommend is take all your productivity apps and put it on your home screen. Also take the social media apps and drag it towards the other screens. What this would do is this would just let you focus on the productivity apps and all the social media and other apps you can always see whenever you want also i do recommend deleting all the apps that you do not need on your screen now that we are done with arranging your home screen let's go on to your clock now as you can see in an iphone we have the bedtime app you can arrange it to whatever you want so you can see the time that you would get for sleep and your wake up time your bed time this would really help you go to bed on a daily basis at a regular routine so a notification will pop up every time 11 o'clock hits in this case and it would wake you up at 6 40 of course so you do get 7 hours 40 minutes of sleep on a consistent basis now you can set alarms at different time intervals to remind you of things to do. For example, I created an alarm here and I edit it just to get something out of it. So let's write for example, take your break from work. As simple as that, after every two hours, whatever you feel like whatever you want to put in here that can remind you of doing something important it could be taking your meds and everything it's it can be really useful and it would help you in organizing your day now coming to organizing your day i do recommend a couple of apps to use now these are stock apps and they can be really useful for example a list so in a list you can create different items for example i create wish happy birthday to someone now this can serve as a reminder and you can do a lot of things with it so you can create your custom lists so that you would be reminded again and again and you can set it on dates so that you never forget about it so if you do have a lot on your plate and you don't want to forget anything, you can schedule your lists. You can do a lot of things with it. So I do highly recommend this app. For example, I am wishing happy birthday to someone. Along with it, I want to get them a gift. I want to buy them flowers before their party, whatever you want. These are just the key examples that I am giving you. So Reminders is a great app. Another app that I do recommend for managing your days 
the notes up now this can be the same as google keep now for example you have your investments you have done some mutual fund investments you have some stock investments you can just put in everything here and it would be saved now this can also be very helpful in making you realize that where all do you have your money some of the times you have money in a very very diversified portfolio and you can forget about that and this will not only make your productivity increase this would also make you remember things that you might forget in some time and you do not want to lose your social life over that so things like birthdays things like anniversaries you can always organize them to remember them if you can't handle all your friends so that was it for today's video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel and like the content please subscribe to the channel thank you